Hello, this is Victor from Simple Solutions and today I'm going to demonstrate one of my open source projects called the Node.js API Base and you can find it at uh, this URL here I will also put it in the description so you can find it easily so basically what I built is a simple architecture for using uh, Node.js as an API and I have also implemented the basic features that you all almost every time implement for example login and register and such uh, so I've also written this uh, basic uh, wiki readme file that you can see how to set up the environment and so on so you can read through that and I'm using MongoDB as the database but you can pretty easily switch that out if you want to use MySQL or something else instead. So the, the the main goal with the architecture is to get started fast. So because every time you set up a new API you always implement login, register and then you check if they're authenticated and roles and stuff. So my goal here is to implement something that you can basically just clone and when you have cloned it you should have all of the basic stuff like register in place and then you can start building your business logic immediately and this also means that I have to make some assumptions on what you will need and uh, if that is not correct you have to switch that out yourself but I'm trying to keeping it as generic as I can and this also means that I haven't implemented any kind of MVC structure for it so if you want to implement that, feel free to do that and you, should, you shouldn't consider the architecture fully done but uh, because you have, will have other business need for your API of course so you need to make adjustments for that as well but if you want to test it out, I suggest you just clone it and look through the source code before uh, continuing so you, have, so you have clues where to focus and uh, where you have questionable stuff that you want to pay attention to and so on that you don't fully understand what's going on so I suggest you clone it and continue uh, with the next tutorial where I look uh, at the source code